Welcome to the setup video for Orbis, a game designed by Tim Armstrong and published by Space Cowboys. In this video we'll be setting up a 2 player game of Orbis and discussing the differences for 3 and 4 player setups. First we will sort all the region tiles. Each tile is labeled with a series of colored stars at the bottom. We will separate all the tiles based on the number of stars present and on the hue of the stars. Separate the tiles into the following, 3 black stars, 2 black stars, and 1 black star. 3 violet stars, 2 violet stars, and 1 violet star, and 3 white stars, 2 white stars, and 1 white star. For the 2 player game of Orbis, only the black region tiles will be used. For the 3 player game, the black and the violet star tiles will be used. In the 4 player game, all tiles will be used. Since this is a 2 player game, we will go ahead and put the white and the violet starred tiles aside and head over to the black starred tiles. Now, we will randomize the tiles and place them into three different decks based on the number of stars, from here on called level 1, 2, and 3. After the tiles are stacked, we will create a 3x3 grid of level 1 tiles from the level 1 deck. We will now choose three random gods from the 10 available ones. In a 3 player game, 4 would be chosen, and in a 4 player game, 5 would be chosen. The deck of god tiles is randomized, and 3 are drawn. The three chosen gods are placed at the top of the game area and will be available for the taking throughout the game. Next we will take the five temple tokens. Two will be used in this game, the value two temple token and the value nine temple token. Temples value two, four, seven, and eleven would be taken in the four player game and temples value two, four, and nine will be taken in the three player game. The two temple tokens are placed near the game area. Below these we will place the five reduction tokens and below those a few stacks of cancellation tokens. Finally, the five colored sets of worshippers will be placed somewhere close to the game area. The youngest player will begin the game, and we are ready to play. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and in the meantime, check out some links in the description to learn more about the game.